welcome back to my channel or if you are new here welcome to my channel i am sheridan and today we are going to be getting ready with me um this is going to be a get ready with me slash story time so i will go ahead and give a disclaimer this is sort of a rant so if you're not here for that totally fine i will see you next week I had a pretty rough week this week i figure the best way to kind of get over this horrible week that i've been having is to get ready with you and with me um, and just kind of film that stuff because I I feel like being in a creative mindset is actually very helpful for me If you have any other ideas for videos that you want me to do in the future Go ahead and comment those down below. Anywho, let's get into the makeup. All right, so story time So all of this that I'm talking about took place um, starting in September of 2021 and it is currently March of 2022 and it just got resolved this month so this is a couple months in the making anywho I got a phone in September um, a new phone and I'm not gonna say what the company was because I really don't want to put them on blast but it was great cool brand new phone I normally like go to different um, to like a third party to buy this phone, but instead I went directly to the company. And, uh, my previous phone had been like, I had accidentally dropped it on the floor, so like the screen was just like obliterated and like there was pieces of like glass coming off, so it was time. Down the road, I wanna say like December, maybe like November, December, um, I'm on the phone with somebody and it's on speakerphone and I can barely hear them. So I was like, okay, that's a little strange. So. You know, a couple days goes by and I get on the phone again. Sound is like not great at all. Like not, it's really not good. Give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe like it's not working because of some update that's going on or maybe it hasn't been updated. Maybe there's an app that I downloaded or something that's just not like compatible with it. I don't know. So I did like a whole factory reset, like we didn't need all kinds of stuff, right? You get the point. Anywho which again I'm not gonna tell you what the company is but I'll just tell you it was so hard to contact this I had to jump through so many hoops anyway I'm like hey yo like phone's not working need it fixed get you know send out a new one whatever okay like sure you know we'll we'll go ahead and get you that that warranty and I was like all right cool sick you know fine go so to get another like the same exact phone because it's a warranty so you can't get like a new like a different type of phone so i get the same phone it comes in like super fast like oh my god <laughs> sorry that's really dark <laughs> it comes in really fast like way faster than i expected which is awesome head and i put like all my contacts and like i switch all my data over to this new phone i have a phone that works awesome sauce and i have a, another phone that i need to return because for whatever reason it didn't work fast forward to that night um i am running some errands all of a sudden like my network just itself off and then turning itself back on I live in an area that has a dead zone in it but that dead zone is not big enough for it to like freak out like that well, let me try and see if I can like restart my phone. When I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to my carrier and see if there's an issue with the SIM card. Go to my carrier and I'm like, hey, like what's happening here? You now sometimes when you go somewhere and you're like, like for example, your car starts making a weird noise, but it only makes it in like this certain type of like circumstance so I was like, okay, like this is probably, it's probably gonna work like the second I get in there and there, I'm probably gonna have to be like, hey, listen, look, this is what's going on. Like, oh, okay, like it, I can see that it's already happening. She's like, all right, so let's go ahead and we'll, you know, we'll figure this out. Well, I'm in there for probably, I don't even know, like probably like 45 minutes to an hour. It was like a decent amount of time. She finally gets an eSIM to work in there. Mind you, we had used like, three SIM cards at this point. It's it like, you know, working and we spend like 10 minutes, I spend like another 10 minutes in the store just trying to make sure that it's actually working. And she's like, hey, if it doesn't work, you know, just come back. Went ahead and um, continued on my errands. And I called my boyfriend, letting him know what's going on. And then my phone call drops. And I'm like, no, <laughs> like no. And I was like, okay, let me go back. And she's still there and I was like, hi, me again, you know. She gets it working with an eSIM this time. I leave the place again 
for this second time and lo and behold my phone does it again so by this time i am like sincerely pissed because i've already had one phone that didn't work and then i got another phone that didn't work so i was like okay what the heck what's going on why why is this happening so i get on the phone with the company that shall not be named try and get them to call me um, but of course my phone keeps dropping so i have to wait till i get back home so i finally call them when i get back home and i'm like hey it's still going on what can we do about it right they said like okay have you done this have you done that and like all of the things that they were listing off i was like yep nope done that yep done that yep done that i was like then take it to you break i fix and i was like okay which for those of you who don't know what that is it's basically a cell phone repair shop and they were so booked that day that i had to come back the next day which is fine just to recap by this time i had, had two phones that broke second phone kept going in and out with service we went with the sim sim didn't work factory reset it got the e-system to work after that and it's still like the network is still not working company that shall not be named told me to go to you break i fix see if it's something that's a software issue that they can fix or if it's like an actual like computer issue wrong with the phone that's something that they cannot fix so i don't know if i should do eyeliner or not i kind of want to but i also know that it might screw up my makeup we're gonna try it why not because this is an extra get ready with me <laughs> by the way if you've already made it to this point thank you so much for the the support keep watching i promise i will get to the point i just kind of did these little tab lashes they're the ones that i used are from ardell they're ardell lash trios three in one so they come with like a small medium large anyway not that you care but that's what i used on here and i only used three on the outside we had actually my boyfriend was very generous and was like you know what i have this old phone i want to get a new phone anyway and you can use my old phone until you get yours fixed. And I was, so we had spent like three hours, I'm not joking, three hours at T-Mobile. It's like just not compatible, or it is compatible. We, we didn't figure out why it wasn't working. Ended up leaving there with my still broken phone because it just was not able to get fixed. And I wasn't able to get um, my service onto my boyfriend's old phone. Anyway. So I still have this old phone. So we went to You Break I Fix for my appointment. He basically told me like, yeah, can't be fixed. And I was like, okay, cool. A couple days goes by and I'm like, you know what? Fine, we'll go ahead and we'll just, we'll cut our losses and I'm just gonna ask for a refund because I don't want to deal with this anymore, right? I know my hair is green. If you want to see how I did it, I will link the video down below. I know it's pretty deep in the video for me to be mentioning that, but I just thought I'd go ahead and mention it. It is a good video. It's kind of a fail, but in a funny way, so go watch it. Anyway, so back to the story. I figured out a way to kind of make every party happy. They obviously are not the happiest about it, and they were like, hey, this is only once in a lifetime thing. Like, we don't normally give out refunds, but they eventually were like, no, like, totally fine. We get it. Cool. We'll get a refund. Basically, all of my money is back now, which is good. I will tell you that the newest phone that I got was the Galaxy S1. Um, it is a fantastic phone and I actually like it a lot. It, anyway, long story short, I know long story short, we just talked for like how many minutes? Anyway, whole long story basically to say that all is good with the world now. Everything has gotten figured out. I'm glad T-Mobile, man, they got my back. You know, if you like this video, go ahead and like the video. Um, go ahead and comment if you've had any issues with any technology that you've had as well, because I'm sure that I'm not the one. Technology seems to like repel me. <laughs> so I'm curious if it repels anybody else. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys this week. If you liked the video, go ahead and like the video. Um, and I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye.